ओके बच्चो सो कंटिन्यूइंग द लेफ्ट ओवर पार्ट ऑफ द क्वेश्चन नंबर दैट वॉज क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर आई थिंक एंड द बी पार्ट हेयर इट वॉज मैंशन दैट आइडेंटिफाई द ऑर्गेनिक प्रोडक्ट के सो दिस इज द कंटिन्यूस कंटिन्यूएशन ऑफ द पेपर अक्टूबर नवम्बर ट्वेंटी टू सॉरी ट्वेंटी ऑफ द सीरीज नाइन सेवन जीरो वन टू टू ओके सो द वीडियो वॉज इंटरप्टेड एंड सो दैट्स वाई अपलोडिंग द लेफ्ट ओवर पार्ट ऑफ द सेम सो हेयर वी आई ड्रॉ द जी एज वी डिस्कस्ड हेयर इज द जी and this g is converted into the primary alcohols and then due to or in the presence of dehydrating agent it is converted into the k and now it is demanded that identify the organic product k so i'm going to work it out how the k is formed and what is the k here this was g and you know that when we reduce it in the presence of n a BH4 sodium borohydride so we get the primary alcohol from the aldehyde and this alcohol remains this one this alcohol remains the same unre unaffected so when it is reacted this molecule is reacted with the Al2O3 which is a dehydrating agent dehydrating okay agent so it will eliminate the water molecule how the oh from this carbon atom is removed and to the adjacent carbon the h is removed as a result we will get ch2 here we get the double bond here we get the double bond and then as one hydrogen is removed from this carbon atom so here we left with only one h then here we have the ch2 that is further converted sorry connected sorry Uh, to this end we also have to say the OH is removed from this carbon atom and H is removed from this carbon atom so as a result we get only one H the double bond is formed and we have to say we left with only CH2 so this is the structure which I'm going to write more clearly more neatly here we have CH2 double bond CH single bond CH then double bond and we have ch2 so from both end the terminal oh is removed and to the adjacent carbon atom one h is removed as a result we get two double bonds and it will be named as 13 butadiene or butane 13 diene but 13 diene 13 die in indicating that we have four carbon atom total and at carbon number 1 and carbon number 3 the double bond is starting got it so so identify the organic product we have to write the name that is 1 butane 13 die in then in the next part this is page number 10 and now proceeding towards the page number 11 and here the c part of the same question p and q have the same molecular formula as g here but you can see that this is ketone the q is ketone with a high oh group and p is acid p is acid with no oh so both have the same molecular formula that is cnh2no2 complete the table with the expected observation for the reaction of p and q remember p is an acid whereas q is ketone containing alcohol so when we are going to add the br so br can only react with the double bond containing molecule between two carbon atoms as in these two there is no double bond between two carbon atoms so we can say result with p no visible change result with q we can say no visible change but 2,4 dinitrophenyl hydrazine can detect the presence of carbonyl group so which is present in q but not in p so we can say in q orange precipitate is formed but in p we can say there is no visible change aqueous sodium carbonate and we know that the aqueous sodium carbonate can only react with what acids but not with the alcohols or with the ketones so for p we can say effervescence 
release of the rapid bubbles or the bubbles of the gas released colorless bubbles but for q we have to say no visible change we have to say that there is no visible change so now proceeding this is the 12th page of the same paper and the d part of the same question number four and here the structure of compound l is shown r represents a hydrocarbon chain r is representing what a hydrocarbon chain then here we can say that this is an ester group and we have c double bond o and then o this is the ester bond ester linkage and we have the carbonyl group over here and remember that as we can see this is infrared spectroscopy the carbonyl group of the ester or the carbonyl group have a definite peak value that is starting from 1600 or 1610 till 1730 so whenever you found this c double bond o you have to directly focus for the peak in the uh, infrared spectrum at the range of 1610 to 1730 so here you can see this is the peak range that is 1600 to 1730 here we have two range two peaks x y so this one is due to the ester bond so this one is due to the c double bond o so we can have to identify as there is a confusion so that is why examiner is just asking about one of the peak from x and y we have to say x is for the c double bond o we have to say that and we have to mention the range that is in between 16 17 and 1800 so uh, 16 17 18 19 20 okay so this is between 16 to 1700 at exactly we can say 1750 or 1730 even we can say so this is due to the c double bond o and then we have to say z again as i don't have at the moment the data booklet you have to check for the data booklet here and it may be the bond between carbon and carbon okay or carbon to oxygen so you have to go for the data booklet and just check it out what the value this is almost thousand value 1050 so you have to check what this value is for or even i have to check it from the data booklet if i have i have to found if the data booklet is nearby then i can otherwise uh, you have to go for your data booklet and check it out okay so data booklet data booklet so i have an idea but at the moment as there is no data booklet beside me so you have to work it out and my idea is due to the carbon bond oxygen this is the like this this is the carbon bond oxygen so this is the carbon bond oxygen that is 11 sorry in between 100 1000 to 1100 value okay so no need to worry about as it's only for one mark okay now to the last part absorption y shows that l has carbon to carbon double bond so now i'm confirmed from the previous part as i was just saying it may be for carbon to carbon double bond or for the oxygen to carbon bond as now in the second next part clearly mentioned that the peak y is for the carbon to carbon double bond so that is why the peak z must be for the carbon to bond oxycarbon that is bonded with oxygen got it so now the situation is here we have the molecule this r is changing into the acid this r is changing into the acid and here we notice that there is hot concentrated acidified kmno4 which is our oxidizing agent so we can say name m we have to name m got it what is m it is ch3 repeating four times ch2 and then carboxylic acid so we have to write it in the uh, structural format then we can write the name of the m got it here it is the m and we can say this is ch3 then ch2 one time ch2 two time ch2 three times sorry ch2 three time ch2 four time and finally we have c o o h so we have to number it out one two three four five six 
सो सॉरी वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स वी हैव फाइव सिक्स कार्बन आइटम एंड देर इज़ अ कार्बोक्सिलिक एसिड सो वी से दैट दिस इज हैग्स इन ओ एक एक्सिड हैग्स इन ओ एक एसिड सो दिस इज हैग्स इन ओ एक एसिड देन यूज द इंफॉर्मेशन इन डी टू डिड्यूज द मॉलिकुलर फार्मूला ऑफ एल ओके मॉलिकुलर फार्मूला ऑफ एल क्लियर सो जस्ट फोकस दैट वेन this one is decomposed sorry this one is reacted with the hot concentrated kmn4 we got these two molecules so we just have to add all of the carbon atoms in these two molecules all of the oxygen hydrogens then we get the molecular formula of l so here i'm going to uh, count it as for this part we have six carbon atoms for this part we have to follow the general formula of an acid this is cn H two N O two and as we have six carbon atoms, so then it will be twelve hydrogen atoms and two oxygen atoms. So C H twelve O two for M, and then we have to add with the rest of the molecule. So the rest of the molecule here you can see. If I'm starting from this one, this is carbon one, carbon two, carbon three. carbon 4 carbon 5 carbon 6 so we have again six carbon atoms to write to find out the hydrogen atom here we have two hydrogens two hydrogens four one hydrogen one y as we can see three bonds so the missing bond is of hydrogen so two here two here one here two here again so 2 plus 2 4 plus 1 5 plus 2 Seven and one over here. Got it. So we have two, four, five, six, seven, and then eight. So we have eight hydrogens. And then how many oxygen? One plus one, two plus three plus four. So we have four oxygens. So now, as these two molecules are formed by the reaction of L in hot concentrated KMN four, so we get these two. So we have to add all. so what we got c12 h20 o8 so this will be the molecular formula of l so this is the last part of the paper this was a long question as well hopefully you understand and remember this is the leftover of the paper the same paper which we discussed got it so try not to worry about if you don't find the previous part you have to check the latest video that i uploaded so both the latest videos are related to the same paper and the paper is i have to show you the main page of the paper and it is here so we are discussing this part is belonging to the paper 9701 october november 2020 and the question last question last question of the same paper we discussed here in this video hopefully you understand and if you have any query you can ask a question got it uh, take care of yourself wish you good luck for your cies and allah hafiz